entertained in an ancient and famous young city with long history and culture. Six thousand years ago, this was the shallow sea in the West Pacific. Most of the in northern China ran into Bohai Sea, which produced changing plain covering ten thousand square kilometers. Six hundred years ago, Zhu Di, the Yanwan king of the Ming Dynasty, led his army there across the river to seize power, built Tianjin City in the place where Southern Canal, Northern Canal, and Haihe River intersected. The name of Tianjin means the place where the emperor crossed the river and implied his important position in the country. It also symbolizes the gods of Beijing and China. At the end of 19th century, Tianjin, which is 120 kilometers away from Beijing, developed into the largest trade port in northern China. It was also the center of finance and commerce, as well as the birthplace of modern industry, transportation. Education, ground force, navy force, and police army. Tianjin produced the first Chinese submarine, first series of stamps, first telegraph, first telephone wire system, first commercial railroad, first train, and more. Hundreds of innovations were born in Tianjin, which shows a remarkable status in Chinese history. Sixty years ago, the ancient China got the opportunity of revival, and Tianjin still remained as the center of northern China. Chinese first watch, first bike, and first TV set were all made in this vitalizing land. Tianjin, a banner of modernization of Chinese cities, in 21st century. Tianjin is still working wonders with newly emerging forces. In 2006, Tianjin, being a new area, was included into the state's development strategy. More than 200 top 500 world enterprises had built factories in Tianjin, such as Samsung, Toyota, and European Airbus. Tens of national key products, in which investment exceeds 10 billion yuan, are also located here. Including millions of tons of acetylene, tens of millions of tons of oil refinery, strong thrust rocket, national aviation city, and the Sino Singapore Eco City. A large number of enterprises in the top field of modern industry, such as electronic information, oceanic chemical engineering, and bioengineering, have formed a new industry structure with high-level, top quality. And great advancement, giving rise to another industrial jump in Tianjin. Tianjin Port has trade connections with over 400 ports in the world. Binhai Airport possesses more than 40 domestic and international airlines. Besides, there are seven provincial-level highways, four high-speed railways, six undergrounds. And the Beijing-Tianjin high-speed rail with a speed of 350 kilometers per hour, all of which have formed an expedited traffic network. The present Binhai new area is the forefront of economic openness with the best facility in Chinese infrastructure construction, the most favorable policy environment, the highest development speed, and the highest investment repayment. Following Pearl River and Yangtze River Delta, Bohai Sea Area Economic Zone, headed by Tianjin, has become the third engine to lead Chinese economic development. Soon, it will become Northern China's gateway, modern manufacturing and R&D base, international shipping and logistics center, as well as ecological city. In September 2010. Tianjin, which has been regarded as the prominent venue, witnessed the successful convening of the fourth annual meeting of the new champions, the so-called Summer Davos Forum, in which more than 1,500 elites in political, science, and business fields from over 90 countries and regions participated and expressed sincere appreciation and high expectation. Tianjin. A unique city with splendid culture and exotic charm. The European-style blocks, known as the World Museum of Architecture, 
displays exotism and openness of Tianjin culture. The Great Wall, the Grand Canal, Tianhougong Palace, and Da Beiyuan Temple vividly record Tianjin's nomadic, marine, and agricultural culture, which are integrated at the track of life. The graceful and magnificent architecture gives people a vivid picture of the peaceful and active days northern Chinese folk folk art forms came into being in this land and Peking Opera and Ping Opera also started to prosper here. Many folk art with exquisite craftsmanship like Ni Renzhang painted sculpture and Yang Liu Qing New Year pictures embody the romantic charm of the Chinese culture and symbolize Tianjin people's nature of openness and enthusiasm. In the 29th Olympic Games and the 13th Paralympics, Tianjin bore athletes won 17 gold medals, which shows the city's modern temperament and historical profundity of Tianjin. The coexistence of tradition and modern, conservation and openness, history and future has shown the character of Tianjin and the mighty charm of Tianjin's culture. Tianjin, the best place of the modern Chinese higher education, the first Chinese university, the first politics and law school, the first industrial school, and the first officer's training school, all of them were established in this city. Two Chinese Prime Minister and more than 50 academicians of Chinese Academy of Sciences and Chinese Academy of Engineering graduated from Nankai Middle School and Nankai University. Nowadays, there are 55 universities in Tianjin. Tianjin has been authorized as the only pilot area of higher vocational education reform and the permanent host city for vocational skill contests. In 1958, TGOU was established with the name Tianjin Radio and Correspondence University, TRCU, which was the first distance learning institution in China. For half a century, TJOU has scrupulously abided by the university motto of universal fraternity, diligent learning, harmony and development, and has pursued the tenet of popularizing higher education for Tianjin citizens. It has managed to become a ladder of progress for common people, the weight for educational equality and the depot for learners to enrich themselves. The present TGOU has 3,000 faculty and staff, 60,000 students with 38 branches covering 18 districts and 20 main industries in Tianjin, 156 community and rural digital study centers in Tianjin have formed a huge network to facilitate learning for every citizen. Among these study centers, Open, Xinyuan, Haiyan have been authorized by the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Science and Technology as a national sample center of digital learning and demonstration project of digital education public service. TGOU has been visited by more than 20 officials from national and regional government and over 3,000 members from more than 400 groups in China. TJOU is equipped with satellite broadcasting and digital TV systems. The campus network capability reaches 10,000 MB and the total amount of educational resources of 5 TB. The powerful teaching and management platform can support 10 million learners online registering and 100,000 learners simultaneous online learning. In October 2008, sponsored by TGRGVU, the 22nd Annual Conference of Asian Association of Open University and the first cultural exhibition of Asian Open University was held. Mr. Zhou Tianong, Vice Chairman of National People's Congress, sent a congratulatory letter. This conference attracted such figures as Professor Penny Polk, President of the International Council for Open and Distance Education, Professor Superman, President of AAOU, Sir Daniel, President of Commonwealth of Learning, 
more than 80 university presidents and around 500 representatives from 20 countries. All of them got together in TTRTVU and drew the blueprint for further development. The success of the annual conference marked a new area for the 50 years of strife of TJOU, and TJOU also made her way to the top 10 news of Chinese distance education of 2008, which is also an achievement of Tianjin. Tianjin is a city famous for education and economic development. Following Confucius' belief of education for all, TGOU has dedicated itself to the education for common people, promoting open and distance education and social progress. It is always a pleasure to greet a friend from afar. Distinguished friends, you will be given a warm welcome by Tianjin and its open university. We hope all the friends that attend the 25th ICDE International Conference get together in Tianjin, China and discuss new development, new trends and new strategies for open and distance education in the world.